Hello everybody, today I'm making a kind of like a tutorial video on how to get around the big massive problem that if you're watching this video you probably know all about, but um, just to kind of explain what it is real quickly, uh, Fallout 3 has recently had uh, an update and this update has basically broken all of the mods for Fallout 3 and the reason that's happened is because the new version of Fallout 3 isn't in line with the Fallout Script Extender and you need the Fallout Script Extender for just about every mod that has ever been used on Fallout 3 and so what that means is that if you try to run the game it, it just won't work at all and so you know the devs behind the Fallout Script Extender put out a update saying that they don't have a time frame for when they can go and update it to the new version of Fallout and I get why they say that because Fallout hasn't been updated in I don't know like 10 years or something and Bethesda just randomly decided to update it and I think it fixes some things but obviously since it's updated the script extender isn't in line with that update and it just breaks everything else especially if you have mods on and so what's the solution to this what is the reason you're watching this video well I, uh, i'll tell you uh, what we can do is and i did a lot of digging and i figured out what we can do is we can actually just use the 1.7.0.3 version of the games.exe files for both the game and the launcher and so and so if we have a look over here We've got Fallout 3 over here, and if we go on properties, we'll see that it's the 1.7.0.4. What we want is the 1.7.0.3 version, the, the you know the older version. And just just to test, you know, just to because I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. Um just to test real quick, we've got these versions over here, and this is the like I said, the 1.7.0.3 or 4, the new version, the patched version that we got yesterday. And if I try run this with the script extender, which you normally run when you start up the game, you know, it's the same with Skyrim, same with Fallout New Vegas. You try run this. And it says you have an unknown version of Fallout. And basically what this means is that since the game's been updated, Fallout script extender doesn't know this game anymore. It doesn't know this version. And so that's why it won't even begin to run the game. And so what's the solution to this? Well, what we can do is we can delete Fallout 3.exe, we can delete the launcher, and you can back these up if you want, if you just want to keep them, you know, for now, but I'll just delete them for now. What you want to do is I put a link in the description, and I actually, I actually went and bought the GOG version of Fallout 3, and I got the original unpatched versions because this patch didn't carry over to the new versions of Fallout 3 on uh, or the GOG version of Fallout 3 should I say and so I bought the Fallout 3 GOG version and I thought maybe if I just try and get the EXE files from the GOG version and try it on the Steam version maybe that'll work because it hasn't been updated it hasn't been patched yet and I tried it and it worked and so in the, description, in the description, you will find a Google Drive link to both of these .exes. And what you want to do is you want to get it from the Google Drive that is in the description. And you want to throw them into your game folder, into where your other Fallout 3 .exe and the launcher would normally be. And you want to replace them. You do that, and then you go over to your Fallout Script Extender Loader and before I run this, one really important thing I should mention is that if you try run the game from the launcher or from this one or from Steam, there's a good chance it's going to automatically update the files. So just run it from the script extender from now on. But that being said, I'm going to run it and you'll see it works. You can now play Fallout 3 just as it was with the updated version. All you need to do is go and get those two .exe files that I'll have in the description and just replace them. That's all you need to do. And so I'm gonna back out of this again and I'm going to 
uh, after I had finished up editing this video, I'll go put them in a Google Drive video and by the time this video is up, you just need to go in the description and go and grab it. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. I I had to, like I said, I had to buy the GOG version, which kind of sucked, but uh, a lot of people have been having this problem. And so yeah, just to reiterate one more time, all you need to do is get my version on Google Drive of Fallout 3. And uh, just so I can show you this version, the one that I pasted into here, is in fact the old version, the 1.7.0.3, the unpatched version. And you want to just use that instead on the Fallout Script Extender and just run this. And so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you know, uh, I'm kind of sad that I had to go and buy the game again on GOG, but it is what it is. I figured getting this video out since no one's done it yet is a good idea, and I think that it's a very... Uh, it's a very good thing to do as a temporary fix. Hopefully, these guys will be able to get out a new version of the script extender soon. And we'll be able to just have it normally and we'll have to jump through all these hoops. But for now, this is a temporary fix and uh, this should work out fine for you. If there's any problems, then let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and if this helped you out, then subscribe. It's always a very cool thing to do. But with all that being said, I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next one.